The Retrofighters Hunter wireless controller is finally here. This is a brand new controller for the original Xbox. It does work for Switch and PC. I'm a huge fan of Retro Fighters, so super excited about this controller. Let's go ahead and get it open. Box inside of a box, that's pretty standard for them. All right, inside the box, we do have a USB-C cable for charging. And then this is gonna be our adapters. I did get a sneak peek of this on the internet, but super excited for this little tiny adapter. Love how sleek it is, how it matches the controller. Very cool. There is a USB-C port on the side. Not sure what that's gonna be for. Maybe for firmware updates. And then as well, we have the USB adapter for PC. I love that this is themed as well, similar color. Uh, that'll work for Switch as well. You have quick start guide. It's gonna give you LEDs and pairing instructions. It does say 10 hours, that's nice. All right, but let's take a look at the controller. That's the important part. All right, guys, that right there, I think it looks amazing. I love how it's got the cuts. Of course, you've got white and black here. They're a little small but you do have the shoulder buttons, which are gonna mimic those. And do they have them labeled? They don't have them labeled. They just have them labeled as LB and RB. Would have been nice for them to be specifically labeled for the black and white, because just looking at it right now, I'm not really sure which is gonna be which. Obviously you'd think right's probably black and left is white. The sticks feel nice and the D-pad does as well. Obviously, for a brand new controller, everything feels really, really nice. On the back, we've got a sync button, and then of course the USB port on the top for charging. Overall, great feel, uh, good size. I've got smaller hands, and this fits perfectly, very similar to the other Retro Fighters controllers. But uh, let's go ahead and get it uh, plugged in and, and test it out on the computer. So I've got the controller tester pulled up. The thumbsticks feel nice. They don't feel tight, like sometimes with a brand new controller. And it immediately picks it up as a Xbox 360 controller. Yeah, I mean, everything feels good. And just kind of even Lightly touching the thumbsticks seem to pick up really well. Everything feels really, really good. All right, let's get connected to an original Xbox and see how that goes. All right guys, so I've got this plugged in now. Just gonna, I disconnected the USB. I plugged in the adapter to my Xbox. And let's see if it's just gonna auto connect. Okay, there we go. So I did have to press the power in the middle here and then hit the sync button at the bottom. But there we go, we've got the number one set up there and it's working well. All right guys, I'm gonna start with a controller test. And just see how this controller performs and then jump over to the S controller and compare them. The stick does seem pretty sensitive, which is nice. It does snap right back as well. I don't expect to have any issues with the buttons. I would like to see if, yep, they are pressure sensitive because you'll see if I just press down on A and then if I hold down. So the, but the face buttons are pressure sensitive as are black and white. The bumpers are not. You got one state. The triggers are sensitive. It does take a little bit for them to trigger. So in all in all, I'm pretty happy with the sensitivity of it. Well guys, it turns out that all of my first party controllers have terrible drift and I just deal with it. So I'm not really gonna be able to do a good comparison. So let's just jump into a game and see how the new controller performs. 
Soon as that door opens, let them have it. All right, guys, so overall, I'm extremely happy with this controller. Love the look, love the feel. In-game, it felt good to me. I definitely want to use it more and get some more time with it, but having the shoulder buttons and having the face buttons, as well as just being a brand new wireless controller, I'm extremely happy. The price point, it was $55 after shipping. That's a little bit high. I would prefer to be around the $40 the $45 range, but I'm still going to be really happy at the end of the day to get a brand new controller that I can use on my original Xbox. All right, guys, let me know what you think if you have this controller yourself or you're thinking about getting it. I hope this video helped and I hope I was able to share some insights and I really look forward to Retro Fighters continuing to make brand new retro controllers.